Hello everyone! This video would focus on the seesoid of Diocles. Before we go over the equation and the graph of a seesoid, let's go over the history of the seesoid of Diocles. The word seesoid means ivy shaped, and this was invented by the Greek mathematician and geometer Diocles in about 180 BC. Diocles invented seesoid in connection with his attempt to duplicate the cube by geometrical method. Mathematically, a seesoid is a plain curve with two branches meeting at a cusp at one end of a diameter of a fixed circle, each point on the seesoid being obtained by going from the cusp along any chord to its intersection when extended with a tangent diametrically opposite the cusp and then returning along the extended chord a distance equal to the length of a chord. So in the video, you will see that the seesoid is colored red. Now let's go over the equation and the shape of a graph of a seesoid in both the Cartesian coordinate plane and in the polar coordinate plane. We remember that the Cartesian equation for the seesoid of Diocles is x quantity x squared plus y squared. That's quantity and then that is equals to a y squared. And if we add the slider, this is the shape of the graph of the seesoid of Diocles. Now notice this very carefully. If we increase the value of a from 1, the, this graph is behaving this way towards the right. Now, if we go to the other side, it's going to get reflected on the other side here. So this is the graph of the seesoid of Diocles. Now let's look at the graph of seesoid of Diocles in polar coordinate system. We remember that the polar equation for seesoid of Diocles is r equals 2a sine squared theta divided by cosine theta. So if we add the slider, then we are able to get the graph of the seesoid of Diocles. So it's pretty much the same thing. If we move the A to the right, if we increase the value, then it's gonna the, the graph is going to behave towards the right this way. And it's gonna, if we go the other way around, that's how the graph is going to look like. So again, this is the polar equation of the seesoid of Diocles. That's it. If you find this video helpful, hit like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya!